Hello and welcome to my video. This is Factorio 9.1. The other day I was playing Factorio in my big map and I had an idea. One of the uh, early parts of a game is called tower crawling where you move laser turrets and crawl all over the map in order to kill the biters. That usually requires 50 or 60 large poles dragged out from your base to wherever the uh, biters happen to be, which on some maps can be quite far away. Then something else spoke sp to me. We have solar panels and accumulators. Can we build a base of power and accumulators in such a way that we can disconnect it from the main base and it to be self-sufficient self so I thought yeah that's a, that's actually a good idea once I designed and built it I thought hmm I should share this with everybody so in doing this I'm going to show you two things today I'm going to show you my version of this base also I'll show you how the blueprints work which is a nice cool feature of um, Factorio 9 and also the deconstructor which is even more fun uh, makes base cooling excruciatingly easy to do so let's get started shall we right there is a lot of construction blueprints there's a lot of materials required for this so, so I would recommend bringing a car with you because you're going to need the space so I'm just going to take off a few parts out of the car first because I need to start some stuff off somewhere. So this all works around the rubber port. So rubber port requires power as you probably know. So I'm going to build a couple of solar panels in a row. So I should be able to get the um, rubber port started. Because of the way the blueprints work, you need to give the construction robots something to take from. So a provider chest or a storage chest is a good idea. So I'm going to use two per couple of provider chests and just dump everything into the provider chest. out the car and then plonk everything inside here remembering to get rid of all the stuff that comes up on your toolbar which can be quite annoying right that's everything in there and now let's start the base itself is quite big I broke it up into two blueprints so I'm going to do the top one first and then I'm going to talk a bit about it so when you zoom out quite far notice the robo port in the middle is actually my anchor point so this blueprint I just click watch and my construction robots will come out grab stuff from the um, providers and then start building which is a lovely thing to see this is half of it because blueprint is so big that it doesn't you can't actually fit it in one blueprint in one go so let's talk about the blueprint first and the material requirements so the material requirements for this base is as follows 822 walls 453 basic collectors 135 solar panels 77 laser turrets 42 medium poles and 16 substations and that is a lot of materials but this is a big base this base itself can keep the laser turrets on its perimeter plus three or four of my um, sub core bases or if you want to call them laser things running all through the night continuously and yes it does do it 
the only requirement there is to make sure that before you once you built the base you require the um, basic accumulators to um, charge up which can take a day or so if you're not too careful as you can see they're slowly building one also tip if you want to build something like this is your blueprints allow you to break things up into smaller components so while they're building I'll show you the smaller components if you look here you see the solar panel subcomponent, which is a um, substation in the middle, solar panels around the edge, and basic accumulators rimming it just to fill up the um, control area for the substation. One tip don't overlap, don't go outside the area of the substation's field. If you do, the substations won't connect horizontally and vertically together and then you'd have to put a gap between them and put some other pole in between them which can not quite optimize the area so that's that one then we have the accumulator subs blueprint which is basically substation in the middle and the accumulators all around the edge we have the wall sub blueprint which is literally just a line of wall a medium tower and two laser turrets which literally just goes around the edge and then you just um, tidy up the corners when you're done and this is what I call my um, sub base to go out and attack 14 laser turrets, walls and a power pole in the middle if you have enough construction drones you can literally just click this once and all the drones will just come out and build it before the um, biters know what hit them and by heck does the biters don't know what hit them for small bases to medium bases, usually about uh, one or one to four hives. This is usually sufficient to tower core into them and not have to worry about them. Just move it up, disassemble the one behind it, and just keep calling over. Usually, I use about three of these at once, with the one behind being disassembled to be moved forward. And keeping up a robo pull so that you can do it. It looks like the um, construction guys have half built or nearly built up this first half. So I'm going to move my car because it's it'll be in the way. It just about here since they're pretty much done with that one I'm gonna pop the bottom half in one note is that the um, rubber port in the middle is actually the um, linchpin where both of the bases link up Two things to note about using construction robots is that the green area outside is their maximum construction zone so they won't build anything outside or disassemble anything outside the green area. One other thing to note is if they disassemble something they'll move it into the storage chest only and the storage chest must be within the orange area of the RoboPort. If it's outside it won't work. They will just pick it up and hang them in midair, which can be quite annoying. One way around it is if you request it in your logistics thing and you also have to be within the orange area. But if you keep a couple of rubber ports with you you can pretty much just um, chain them together and pick up the one behind you while moving forwards all the time which is quite helpful if I so I'm just gonna sit here and watch my minions 
or robots build up the rest of this base. They are very efficient little constructors, aren't they? There are 200 odd buildings still to be constructed. Some recommendations on how you can actually use this. Well, you can use this in a couple of different ways. You can use it as a power supply for for remote mining. There's plenty of ores out in the middle of nowhere. It's a good. It should keep a nice lot of them going after you've finished your um, tower def tower harvesting. Or you can disassemble it and move it to the next point and um, just keep building it around. It looks like they pretty much finished building most of it. So let's find a pole. And give you some of the stacks. As you can see, it's got a lot of solar power. The um, accumulator power is about, I think it was 2.2 .2 gigawatts or gigajoules. But it'll take a little while to charge up, usually about a day or so. So you, you might want to just leave it a day or so for it to completely charge up. But I don't, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and pick up all the walls, laser turrets, large poles, and pick up a few, take a few of these drones out of here then just walk out of here you're still going to need some of the big electric poles doesn't matter what you do but I'm going to go far enough out of the way that the rubber ports don't interfere with each other 
So I'm going to take this at least two streams away. That should get the robot, my next robo port. Yeah, no, I need it a little bit further. That should disconnect. Yeah, that should disconnect them. So when you're going out to attack something, keep this within, say, the green area of what you're attacking, not too close. You still want to put a provider chest down, but you also want to do a storage chest as well. You'll need that for the for the second part. So stick all the walls in, lasers. You want the basic poles. Also, we didn't bring any repair packs, you're going to need them. Stick the robots in the thing. And then use this tower. Put it somewhere. And then use these other towers to connect it up. And now watch the uh, minions come out and just virtually instantly build it. I didn't bring enough with me to do it in one go, but if you bring like what is a full thing, they can literally just drop the whole tower down at once. Then once you're finished, you get one of the red ones and simply do that, which then they disassemble it which is also fun if you've got enough they can literally just pick it up notice one thing they are taking it to the storage chest and not the provider chest if you don't have one they'll, they'll just float in the air or then you'd have to request it in your logistics system and then you just build as many of them as you need usually about two is usually good enough for what you two or three and then use the back one disassemble it and chuck it forward this will usually keep about three of the uh, my size of them running indefinitely as soon as the accumulators have um, juiced up but that's my concept of um, a power base and also how to use blueprints now I'm going to I should have left that one built up let's get them to build that again and I'll show you how to make a blueprint so get them to build it again connect it up to the power system I do like how they do that. Right, to create a blueprint, or the disassembled blueprint, you need advanced circuits. So I happen to have a few. Once you researched the blueprints, you only ever need one destroyer plan, so I only build one. You can just build however many you want. So you've got a blueprint. Blueprint comes like this. How to use it? You drag the blueprint over the area you wish to copy. All of it shows up green. And here it gives you a blueprint of the uh, thing and gives you four options of what you want to cause the icon. So you get the blue icon in the back and then whatever you want. So th this one will always be the one which is the most inside. So at the moment that's walls. So then you just click on the blank one and click on whatever you want to call it want to look like so we'll do laser so now that's the icon which is pretty much the same as here the only difference I have added is I've put it one of these in like that denoting it was a version one for me but you don't have to put it in if you don't wanna and then you just click this icon here to create it 
and then the icon will come up here and you just rinse and repeat as many as you need and this one to cancel it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it because I've already got a version of that. But that is my concept of a power based tower creep system without having to actually um, run large power poles stringing them all the way from your base to wherever it is you're going to kill those pesky biters. So let's go back here so you can see from there it looks like it's 600 so yeah probably about 2 that's, well that's my base, that's my power base what do you think of it? there's probably other versions it needs to be this big if not bigger because you need the accumulators to um, power your lasers during the night I suppose there possibly could be a bit more better arrangement of the stuff but what do you think with your ideas thank you for watching my video on my power base thank you and goodbye